Hello and welcome to chapter 23, Minerals and Mining. So uh, essentially chapter 23 is going to be uh, reviewing in a little more depth what we've discussed before, basically uh, how we uh, obtain uh, certain minerals through different mining techniques. Okay, so let's start off here with uh, obtaining minerals. So in order to uh, obtain the minerals that we use in uh, most of our lives, we need to do something known as mining. And I'm sure we all know what that is, but just to clarify, it's basically cutting through layers of rock in order to access uh, such minerals. Um, oftentimes we uh, access these minerals through um, mining ore, and then we extract the minerals. Um, and we also, um, different kinds of minerals that we mine, non-metallic minerals, uh, different types of fuel sources, and things of that nature. Okay, so let's take a look at some different types of mining. So we have strip, subsurface, and open pit mining. So strip mining uh, is basically, say you take a large area of rock uh, and clear it all out, and then uh, you expose the targeted resource, and then you just completely deplete that area, and then repeat uh, the process somewhere else. Uh, subsurface mining is pretty cool. It's basically cutting shafts or tunnels into rock um, and accessing the minerals that way. It's a little less destructive. Uh, you can see that here. So uh, a way I like to think of it is if you ever know those ant farms that kids have where you can see through the walls and you can see the little burrows that all the ants are making, it's pretty much exactly like that except uh, the humans are doing the mining and the cutting through the rock. But visually, that's what it looks like. Uh, and then open pit mining is literally what it sounds like. It's cutting a large hole, an open pit, and just mining the resources from there. Okay, uh, some other types of mining. We have placer and mountaintop removal mining. So placer mining is essentially using running water to filter uh, minerals out. Um, and mountaintop removal is, again, what it sounds like, and we've talked about it before. It's essentially, honestly, cutting off the top of a mountain uh, to access certain materials. Oftentimes, this material is coal uh, in the mountaintop removal process. And uh, mountaintop removal is particularly destructive to ecosystems because you're literally just destroying mountains. Okay, let's take a look at mineral deposits. So mineral deposits are basically uh, the areas where all the minerals lie, and they tend to be concentrated in certain areas. But uh, just like most things in our uh, environment that we use, it is a finite resource. So it is exhaustible, and we are currently exhausting some of the mineral resources. So it's the same problem we're having with, say, oil dependency. Uh, if we have a dependency on certain minerals, there are only so much of that mineral in the world, and we're going to need to find some substitutes. Um, ways we can uh, get around this are obviously conservation, which is the same with any resource, um, as well as recycling, say, e-waste or things of that nature in order to um, keep the minerals we already have out and mined uh, in production so we don't need to keep getting new ones. Okay, so this was a fairly quick video here. Uh, we're already at our conclusion. Uh, so basically the important thing to take away is that we need to figure out a less intrusive or destructive means of mining. Um, while we also need to practice more sustainability in order to not deplete all of our uh, mineral resources. Okay, so the next time I see you, we're going to be hitting Chapter 24, Sustainable Solutions, which is the last chapter in the textbook. All right, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.